I'm eating some SpaghettiOs right now. It's Josh here, the Prive Productions, back in Unreal Engine 4 with a sixth audio tutorial. We're going to talk about sound classes and sound mixes today, and they're both very new. But our overall goal, what we're going to be doing, is we're going to take the footstep sounds that we created a couple tutorials ago. We're going to walk around. We're going to trigger those. But we're also going to have some background music. And when we walk around and those footstep sounds are triggered, we're going to make the background music fade off, kind of be compressed out of the way. But when we stop walking and the footstep sounds are no longer being triggered, that music's going to come back, bro. It's going to get a little loud, fade back in. You know what I'm talking about? Now, if I Alt-P, just Alt-P because I've already done the, the F11 thing. I'm in here. I can walk around. And we got the steps we created. Y'all remember that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We did a couple tutorials ago. We used the sound notifies to, to put those bad babies in there. So there we go. We got our one sound. So I'll escape in F11. And you know our, I'm already in that DP, right? I got the, the step sound cue here. That's the, the cue that is being cued. But what I also have here is the starter music out of the starter content. And I'm just going to drag it into the world and place it. And it will auto activate by default. So now I can F11 and all P and we should hear the music. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Now, you can hear the footsteps a little bit, right? You can hear them. That's a little, a little faint, okay? We can do better than that. You're thinking, Josh, why don't we just, like, turn the volume up, bro? Well, just, we're just, I got an idea, okay? Just relax. This is going to be cool, I think. Now, there's a couple things we need to understand here. Every sound is set to a sound class of some sort, and usually it's set to master. If we double-click on starter music, we can see the sound class right here, and it's set to none. Sometimes it's set to master, but the sound class right now is set to none. And if I go over here and open up the cue, it'll be right down here under sound, and it also is set to no sound class. So we need to create one. But we're not just going to create one. Since we need them to interact with each other, we're going to create a parent sound class and have it some babies. We're going to have two children sound classes. All kind of them. Check it out. Right click. Create a sound class. Okay? And we'll name it SC. I'm going to... A couple capital letters make things simple. I like things when they're simple. And we got a sound class here. And we could set these to that. But watch what I do. If I double click, you got all these properties. You're like, oh, God. But this is the sound class. And that's cool. We could, we could use this. But we need two sub sound classes. Children. Babies. We're going we're gonna to drag a line from that. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna create one here. We're going to it steps. Okay. Boom. There's a little children. A little chilling right there. We're going we're gonna to create another one. Click on the little thing here. We'll name it music. Okay. Boom. A little, another children. A little, little baby. Got a little couple babies here with the children's, okay? Children's. Now, what we're going to do is we need to immediately, before we do any work, we need to set our sounds to this, okay? We have to set our sounds to these sound classes. Very simple. So what we're going to do, let's go to the, well, here we are. Here's the sound. We are, and I'll close these and we'll start over. We'll start, we'll start all this over, okay? Too many windows. UE4 knows how we do too much. Too much, okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. Just, just double click on the starter music, okay? And you see the sound class here. We need to set music to that. So I'm going to go outside of it, hold or make sure music is selected, go back, click the arrow, boom, and we'll save that. So boom, music is set to music. It's perfect. Let's double click on the steps, son. Okay, let's go back. Let's grab steps because as you can tell, the two children have been put into the DP content folder. You know what I'm talking about? With the SC, got the steps and the music and the DP. Okay, now the point is now that we have steps, let's go back over here. Put it into the steps. Make sure steps has the step sound class. Uh, voila. Now, let's go ahead and jump in here and do a couple things. What we're going to do is we need to create a sound mix to make them work with each other. You're probably freaking out like what's happening. But think about it. All we've done is that is set to that. And that is set to that. Just they have sound classes so we can manipulate them somewhere. Right click, go to sounds, and create a sound mix. Now, um. I'm going to name it Mix, okay, because I'm afraid to name it anything else because I'm bad at spelling. I will double click on this Mix. What I got here, you see the EQ settings. You can actually have an EQ. Kind of like we were messing with reverb a while back. We can get the EQ going, you know what I'm talking about? And actually have an audio volume and blah, blah, blah with the reverb. But you can just do it all inside here with a sound mix, with the sound classes doing certain things compressing. But what we're going to affect, we're not going to worry about this. But toy with it, man. Turn the EQ on and play around if you like getting into the audio zone in UE4, the EQing side. It's very complicated, but it's fun. But we're going to go to the sound class effects, and we need to use that. Okay, we're going to have one member, we're going to have one member, okay, and it's asking for a sound class. Which one do we want to affect? We want to affect the music. So let's grab the music, come back over here, press on the arrow, and basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to take this volume multiplier and set it down to about 0.25, bruh. Now what that means is I want it to go about, I'm going to drop it about 75% as I'm walking. Now we have some other settings, the sound mix, the delay, how quickly it fades in and out, the delay, the attack and the release of like a compressor, but we'll, we'll, we'll toy with that in a second. Let's go back because we got one more thing to do. Let's go back into our mix here. Not that. Not that. We got to reopen it. All we've got is are there. We, we, we set the music sound mix to the sound effect. Go open the SC. Okay. You got our, you got little babies. Got babies right here. The steps in the music, babies. 
we're going to go click on we're going to click on steps okay now in steps that's the one that we want it to to call the mix so that it affects the music right the music the mix is set to set the, the mix is set to affect the affect the music but we need the steps to call the mix to to affect the music my god I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Now go to steps and you'll go over here and you'll see passive sound mix modifiers. We're going to create one. And all it's going to do is if you drop the air, it's going to ask for what? A mix, bro. We're going to go back over here, grab the mix and go back over here. And we're going to click the little arrow. And then we've put that mix into the steps, which will call the music, which is the music. I hope that I hope this works. I'm not 100% sure if we did it right. And I'm sorry. So let's just go in here. I think we've got everything set up. The starter music is set to music. The sound is set to sound of the, the steps inside of the sound SC parent. We have children. Okay. Let's just jump in here and see if it works. And then we'll walk through it again. Okay. Check it out. Elp, ball P. Now look at us. Nothing. Music sounds good. You hear it all nice. But if I start walking. Ooh. Did you see that? Let's stop walking. Oh, ho, ho. Calm down. A little quiet for you. A little for ya. Uh-oh. Come on back, baby. Don't be afraid. Love that. You know what I'm talking about? So let's talk about what's happening there, really. You can tell. You should be able to hear, because I can hear. I hope you can. That the music is fading out quite a bit when we're walking. And you can really hear those steps. So check it out again. One more time. F11. Look how the, the, the steps are going to be a little clearer now. They're up front. They're, they're the big daddy. Okay. Now, I'm not happy with that fade. I think it fades in way too fast. And what I would do is go to my mix and start setting it up. But just so you understand, guys, this, uh, this music is set to the music sound class that we created inside of the SC sound class and created two children. That one's set to that. And, of course, we'll close that. We don't need all these windows, UE4. And this one, of course, the steps is set to the steps. That's the steps we created a couple days ago or several days ago, a couple tutorials ago. And all we're doing is inside the SC, we've created both of these. And we're making steps Call the mix, right? And what does the mix do? It compresses music. Okay, now we can set these fades. Let's set the duration to zero. Well, let me show you this. If you set it to two, you'll notice now that it'll take a while before it kicks in and out, okay? So we'll set it to three. So watch what happens here. If you set the duration up, this is what's gonna happen. We got the music. We walk, it fades. But after we stop walking, it's gonna wait. It's gonna wait. There it comes. Okay, cool. Nice that. But that, 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 that's cool and all, but honestly, I would probably set it to about zero. But here's the thing. Let's, let's set it to about zero. And let's make this be 0.1 and 0.1. So it's going to quickly fade in and out. Full speed. Just as fast as it can. We want it, to, we want it to be immediate. As soon as I hear the sound, compress. As soon as I stop, come back. But watch what happens. Oh, ho, ho. You like that? You like the bum bum bum? But the point is, we're getting a little, a little wob wob wob. But the thing is, we, we got, we got to stop that. But think about how fast it's working. It's a compressor. It's literally like a compressor in the audio field. It's freaking insane. But what we would want to do there is, so it doesn't happen immediately, we'd go back in here and maybe set it to about 0.3. Okay, so it's still really quick on initial attack, but it doesn't release until 0.3 seconds. Let's see if that helped us. It's full screen in here. I like that. That's not bad. Now, honestly, I would obviously probably go in here and change the music to maybe 0.5 and maybe set this to about 0 0.15, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, and 0.4 just to be kind of nice and have a clean transition. You know what I'm saying? Try it out. It's not really making a huge difference, but, but just, it's not making a huge difference, but just, but just enough, you know what I'm talking about, but just, just enough, you know what I'm saying, just kind of make a little bit of a compress there to kind of make it to where the footsteps, as you can tell, are cutting through the mix, is what I would call it, and then when I stop, boom, the music comes back, I mean, that's such a neat trick, man, okay, so one more time, guys, because I feel like this was super complicated, um, the SC, the parent sound class is the Big Daddy. The Big Daddy has a couple bebas, little steps, little music. These are both just more sound classes, and it recreated them in the content browser. Now, I'm out here pointing at my screen, but you can't see me doing that. I'm real animated, and I'm sorry. What we did was we go into the SC. Well, first, before we could do that, after we created them, we made sure starter content was set to music sound class, and the steps were set to the step sound class created the mix, and it's what asked us for EQ, and we could, we could have toyed with all that too, but the point is, which 
which sound class do we want to affect? We want to affect the music. Okay, cool. We got it. No problem. We made up. We made our settings here. Then we just went back in here, back into our sound class, the Big Daddy, not the Bebis, because the Bebis is right here. Okay, but we take the steps and we call that mix, which means every step we call it to compress the music because that's what we had to do. I hope that made sense, guys. One more time, we're walking around here and it's cool. It, it fades. It fades. It fades. It fades. You could do that with like a, a car or gunshots or whatever you want. I mean, you could really, really, really toy with this, guys. But I hope this kind of made sense. I hope you kind of have an idea. Like I said, I know there's a lot going on here and it very, very new. But I wanted to make sure, make, I really want to make sure you guys understood sound classes and sound mixes, not only on their own, but what they were capable of. Because you may have just saw them and been like, well, I could set all my sounds to sound class and turn down the volume or whatever. But no, with the sound mix, it can get very, very interesting. You can do very high high quality professional stuff with them. Very, very, very cool. You're literally really scraping the, you're literally just kind of touching the surface of an audio program, which is really, really neat, or an audio editing program, which is super, super cool. Again, you're just scratching the surface of it, but it's super, super cool that they even have it in here. So, you know, congrats and bravo to Unreal Engine 4 for kicking everybody's hind end like they always do. So guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you, Josh, here with the Proud Productions. I uh, hope you learned a little something here. I know this was very, very awesome when I kind of figured it out. And I'm not going to lie, I figured this out by watching a couple awesome tutorials a while back and I was just so impressed by a couple of these people's audio ideas I was like man I want to try to explain this to my people so I hope this is helpful because it was very very helpful to me um, but guys thanks for watching uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel please to Prop Productions hit us up on Facebook to Prop Productions message me there if you have any questions any ideas whatever you want hit me up I'm very available I promise I'll get back with you as soon as I can um, any cool ideas, whatever you want. Do some cool stuff with what we've learned and show us, man. We sh if you show me, I'll show the community. It's definitely what we do. We've done it before. We'll do it again. If you give me something and say, hey, I, I did this, man. I was working with your stuff, your tutorials. This is what I created. You shoot it to me. I'm letting everybody know. I'm going to post it on the Facebook. Everybody's going to see it. Um, but guys, thanks again. Love you. Miss you. I'll see you next time. Hit us up on SoundCloud if you want some music. Deprived, capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end. Hit us up on Bandcamp. Grab that EP. All kind of free music on SoundCloud. Check it out, man. You know what I'm talking about? Love you, miss you, want to be on you, but until I can, peace. <laughs>